The Cabernet Sauvignon comparison is a little bit different from the other two because we had 100% Pinot Grigio in both of the Pinot Grigio wines, 100% Grenache in both of the Grenache wines. And here we have a slight differential because we have the Bordeaux wine always going to be a blend, but this is a lot of Cabernet Sauvignon, 70% Cabernet Sauvignon, 30% Merlot from the Chateau Les Vimières 2020. And then we have actually made by a French winemaker, the Les Piches, and this is 94% Cabernet Sauvignon. So again, slightly more in the Napa, but I still think we can do a good comparison. So let's try at least. Now, we will start out with the Chateau Les Vimières. First of all, it's a 2020 fantastic vintage in Bordeaux. And let me just say, Wine Access has done us such a solid because this is from the very famous wine consultant, Eric Boissonneau. So Jacques Boissonneau purchased the vineyard in 1983. It has only ever been farmed organic. It's not certified, but it's been farm farmed organically. 90 year old vines. This wine spends about 18 months in oak barrels, just 30% new. The grapes are grown, especially Cabernet, on gravel with clay subsoils. Such amazing flavor. Let's take a look at this wine. What a special wine, really. Super dark in color, but Cabernet always has a watery rim. You probably can't see it, but you could definitely see it in your glass when you look at it, even with the blend of Merlot. Swirl it around, take a sniff. Oh, such a perfect, picture perfect Medoc. So it's earthy, it's got, uh, you know, herbs, it's a little smoky, it's got black currant fruit, which is, I would say it's like blackberry and pear had a baby. And it just smells really like the ground it grew in. Let's take a sip. Oh, the balance on this wine. So perfect. So you have tannin on the one hand from the Cabernet Sauvignon, but you still have some acidity from the soils and from them picking a little bit earlier. It is such a great food wine. I could also drink this by itself because it is so tasty, but the fruit is evident on the palate, but you get a lot of great earthiness. Very, very classic Bordeaux. Gosh, I mean, if I could think about what an O Madoc should taste like. This is a typical wine of, you know, just great quality, a fantastic, fantastic wine. So really a classic example of what a Cabernet Sauvignon led Bordeaux blend tastes like. Let's compare that with the Le Piche 2020 from Napa Valley. Same vintage. So we're talking about wines of comparable age. Now this is made from owner winemaker Julien Fayard. Now his resume includes Quintessa and Dalavale and Lale and also Lafitte Rothschild and Chateau Smith Haute Lafitte in Bordeaux. He's originally from France, actually from Provence, helped make fantastic rosé in his family's winery. But in Napa, he obviously has had an incredible run of it. He was also Philippe Melka's director of winemaking, another very famous wine consultant all over California. He, during that stint, got really great sources for fruit. So this wine is sourced from some of the best growers and he's still able to make an affordable wine. So let's take a look at this wine from Napa sourced from several different sites. Again, mainly Cabernet Sauvignon, super dark in color, but still with that watery room. You, you can definitely see the sunshine. It's very apparent in this glass. Take a swirl, sniff. So this wine smells like a Napa wine made by a French person. It's got more restraint on the nose. It's not all fruit, but you still smell this iconic kind of, you know, dark fruit, dark flowers, and oak. Oak is pretty apparent here as opposed to in the Bordeaux where you really almost smell no oak or no oak influence. Let's take a sip. Such a classic Napa Cabernet. Softer than the Bordeaux, lower acidity, much more fruit, a little bit of mocha, cigar box, 
the tannins are pretty strong and it's very full bodied, but you have lower acidity. So this is much more of a plush, lush, plump wine, really quite delicious, but so very different. You know, you can see that there is some French influence here. There's some restraint, some Napa cabs are really hit you in the face. This is a little bit more dialed back on the fruit, probably picked a bit earlier, but still nothing like the Bordeaux where you have a much cooler climate, you're at much higher latitude, and you're dealing with some cooling breezes, especially in the Haute Medoc, where you may have actually cooler soil types too, and that influence of the Merlot is going to dilute the strength of the Cabernet Sauvignon. Again, an excellent comparison, an excellent example of how two very classic regions show Cabernet Sauvignon in their own particular styles. They are both amazing. Again, I would recommend if you're not gonna open them at the same time, maybe have a day or two overlap when you decide to open them so that you can compare them adequately and really understand how these wines are the same and how they're different. Same in some of the black currant fruit, some of the earthiness, but very different in terms of winemaking style and the degree of sunshine and solar radiation that you really can taste in the glass. Such a fascinating study. I know you're gonna love both these wines. These are such class acts. Amazing, just like all the wines in this shipment. Such great wines. Enjoy this.